Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and we are continuing our study of embedded systems design by looking at program flow instructions. In this video, we're going to look at how we implement common programming constructs or, or yeah, yeah, basic, very common programming techniques in assembly. Okay, and what I mean by that is uh, we're going to look at stuff that you do in C, such as a while loop, and look at how that actually gets implemented in using uh, the instructions within the MSP430. So this video will specifically look at the while loop. Okay, a little reminder of while loops. Basically, the uh, while loop has a condition that is specified that it checks, and as long as that condition is true, the loop will continue. <clears throat> okay, so if you said while var is equal to two, <clears throat> if var is equal to two, the loop will go through one time. Then it'll come back and check again. Is var equal to two? And if it is, it'll do it again and again and again. And every time through the loop, it comes back to the beginning and checks to see if the condition is true. If it is not true, it will end the, end the loop, okay? And so <clears throat> let's take a look at how we would do that in assembly, okay? So We'll go ahead and fire up a new CCS project here. So I'm going to go file, um, doo -doo -doo, file new CCS project. <clears throat> All right, so let's go SM underscore flow. These are program flow, and then let's do while loops. And these are pretty simple, so maybe we'll do we'll do a couple different examples. <clears throat> All right. So here we go. Going to come down here. Bada boom. Uh, <clears throat> let's take. Let's make a, a while loop. Here's here's going to be our test structure. <clears throat> We're going to have a variable <clears throat> in memory called var one, and we'll have a while loop that says, if var one is three, go ahead and just loop. And when you go through the loop, go ahead and assign the value one to var two. <clears throat> okay. And what we can do is we can implement that using compare statements. Okay, so let's first, let's set up our memory. So we're going to set up two memory. Uh, we haven't done this in a few videos, so a good reminder. So this is going to be data, data allocation. And we come down here and we're going to do a dot data. And that means go to data mem. And then we're going to do dot retain. And recall that means leave this section alone okay and then we are going to put an address label for var one and we'll do a dot short <clears throat> and we're going to stuff in there three okay now notice what i just did dot short is going to allocate a 16-bit word okay and i'm going to put three in it okay so what's kind of funny about that is if you look over here uh this is the way memory is going to look var one we're going to data memory, which is at 2000 hex, and we just put three decimal. That is going to go into memory as 0003 hex, 16 bits, <clears throat> or in binary, it's going to be binary three with the rest of the bits being zero, okay? Which is totally fine. We can absolutely do that. And then for var two, let's go ahead and let's just reserve uh, 16 bits, so two bytes, okay? All right, so we got that. Now let's go take a look at what we're trying to do. We are simply going to make a while loop that has var, if var one is equal to three, stay in the loop, okay? And so we'll put that on there so you can see this, this is the C syntax for it. And so here's how this is going to work. Let's make a label called while one. <clears throat> and let's come down here and do end while one, okay? When you have a while loop, it checks first. So it's going to look at the, the Boolean condition first. And you can actually come in, you could actually even do something like, you could put a comment while bar one equals three if you wanted to. Uh, but let's, yeah, you can do that. Leave that there. Uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I want to compare it. So you, you check the condition first and you do it with a compare. Okay, so I'm going to do a compare 16 bit. And I'm going to look and see is var one <clears throat> equal to three. Now think about what I'm doing here. Var is the label of where the information resides. Okay, so this is uh, symbolic addressing. And then I'm comparing it to three and I provide three as immediate addressing. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take var one, the value at var one and subtract three. If they're equal, 
Okay, so we, we are going to look at, it's going to be bar 1 minus 3 equals. <clears throat> and if var 1 holds 3, the result of the, of the subtraction is going to be equal to 0. And the Z flag will be asserted. Okay, so if that happens, we want to stay in the loop. Okay, so what we do is we put the opposite logic that says if it wasn't Z, okay, if the result of this compare was not Z, that means var 1 is not equal to 3, and that means we need to get out of this loop. So what we do here is we use J and Z, and we just jump to the end of the loop. And there you have it. So that's our checking, okay? That's our condition. To implement the actual logic of the loop, all we do here is just go move uh, dot W, and this right here, we're just gonna stick one into var two, so we'll go pound one uh, var two. So we just move one into memory var two. And now think about this. I don't wanna end the loop. So I'm done with my logic right here, and I wanna get back and do this thing again. You know what you do now? We do a jump always back to while one. And the reason we jump always is because we're going to jump back up to the beginning and then do the compare first to check whether the Boolean condition is actually still true. Okay. All right. So that loop is, is nice and that's going along and we can test that here. Uh, we can test that. Let's do, let's test it. What's kind of neat is uh, <clears throat> we can actually change the value of our one using the debugger. I think. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so let's see. Don't necessarily need to see much in the, the CPU registers. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna run down to here, okay? And let's go to data memory. So 0x2000, <clears throat> and here's what, what we see. This is var one, or var one okay? <clears throat> and it has three in it. And the reason it has three in it is because I did this. I initialized it at download, okay? This right here is var2, <clears throat> and the reason it's blank is because I had reserved it using the dot space. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna compare, I wanna, I'm gonna look at uh, the Z flag here. So here's the Z flag. I'm gonna do this compare. It compares it. Lo and behold, var1 was equal to three. The Z flag was asserted. That means I want to stay in the loop. So I did opposite logic. This jump, if not zero, will not take. So that allows me to move through the loop. And then when I get down here, I'm going to go ahead and put one into var one, or excuse me, into var two, this address location, and go ahead and repeat. And then I compare it again. It's, it's, not, it is equal to three, so I don't end. Come down here, and there we go. And we're in this loop forever, okay? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and go out to memory and let's see if I can change this. Uh, let's put this at like uh, two. Okay, so I hit that and I hit return. Okay, and now I'm gonna compare that memory to three. So I go ahead and do that. And look what happened. It was not equal to zero. Okay, so the compare now, I actually, I just manually changed something in data memory. So that was cool. <laughs> so then, it was not equal to three, so the compare resulted in z being zero. This time, that means the while Boolean condition is not true, and I'm ending this loop. So I go to here, boom, and I am screwed because what happened here is I jumped over this loop, and there was no other instructions here. So I jumped out of this loop, and I didn't have any instructions, so it said, I don't know what I'm doing. And, it, and that error that just came up said illegal opcodes because it started reading memory that was not that was after our program and it didn't know what to do with it, okay? Okay, so that, that was cool. I mean, other than crashing the computer. But let's put something after, let's do another common while loop. This is kind of a funny one. So this construct right here is very popular to create an infinite loop. So you go while one, okay? And then what you do is you have something in there or a sequence of stuff. This is what we've been doing the whole time, but I'll just show you using while syntax. So let's make another uh, another label called while2 and n while2. And here's how you do an infinite loop that implements while1. You do jump while2. So this is the same thing we were doing before where it was jump main. <clears throat> For this logic right here, maybe we'll do this. We'll say... Uh, 
this move move of w pound two into bar two. So now I have now implemented a program that has all this in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and debug that. And this will prevent me from ever jumping out into a section of the memory that doesn't have instructions at. So let's fire this up really quick. And here we go, here we go. Okay, so I'm looking at my data memory. I've re-downloaded three into there. I'm looking at Z and here we go. So I'm gonna run to my breakpoint. Uh, I go, is it equal to three? Why, yes it is, based on that compare. So then I stay in the loop. <clears throat> is it still equal to three? Yep, it is, so I stay in the loop. Is it still equal to three? Yes, it is, stay in the loop. Now let's go change it. I'm gonna come in here and change it like seven. Hit return, it now changes it in, mem in data memory. I've just changed the value of R3. Guess what's gonna happen? No, it's not equal to three, because look at the Z. It hops out of this loop goes into the next loop, and this one now is infinite. So this one will stay here forever, okay? So not terribly difficult, uh, but to recap, here's the big thing. Whenever you have a, a while loop that has an actual condition, the first thing you do in your assembly program is you check it using a compare, and then you either exit the loop or stay in the loop, and then an infinite while loop, which is while, equal, while one, is simply just a jump always, okay? All right, that is it, nice work. As always, remember to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos. Goodbye.